All right, folks, so today we've got just another quick update video for the GC loader and the virtual memory cards once again. I did do a video a couple of days back with the process to copy over your physical memory card files to the virtual memory card. And when I put that video out, I did say that there's probably gonna be a quicker, easier way to do this. And once the video went out, one of the creators of Swiss actually reached out to me to let me know that there is a different method, which is a little bit quicker. So today we're gonna go through that process. So here we are on the main GC Loader Swiss menu. And what we're gonna to need to do is go into the settings real quick. So hit the B button to go into the bottom menu. Then hit right and click A to open the settings. Then scroll down through the menu here until you get to page three and find the boot through IPL option. And make sure that that is enabled. Also, while you're in here, double check to make sure that the emulate memory card option is enabled as well. And then scroll down and save and exit. Then what we're gonna do is boot a game. It really doesn't matter what game. However, I'm gonna boot Bleach here because I have a Bleach game save on my physical memory card, which I want to move over to my virtual memory card so we can actually test to make sure this worked. So boot the game like you normally would by hitting A and then A again. But the second time you hit A, hold the A button. So you see the game booting as it normally does, but we'll actually get the GameCube intro animation and then it will kick to the main GameCube menu. So we're gonna hit down to get into the memory card. And at this point, I'm actually gonna put the physical memory card into slot B. So you should see that populate in a second. There it goes. And we'll hit A to enter. And here you can see the contents of both memory cards. And memory card A is actually the virtual memory card. So that just has my Radigy game save on there. So we're going to go over to memory card B and to my Bleach game save. Then we're going to hit A, scroll up to copy, hit yes, and the save has finished copying. So I'm going to take my physical memory card back out just so we can test the game save here. Then we'll hit up and up again to gameplay, and then A, and then start to load the game. So this one should go pretty quick. And there you can see that it's reading the memory card, which would be the virtual memory card, and the game save is loaded. So that's fantastic. So as you can see, that process is definitely a lot quicker than the one I put together a couple of days ago, if you did check that video out. But with this process, I don't see any way of importing external files. So ones that you may have downloaded online, but we do have the option either which way. So I hope you found that helpful and a big thanks to Extremes for reaching out and letting me know that this process did exist. It was very much appreciated. And if you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. It's really helping the channel grow. And also don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.